Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video of Talks with Janesh. This is episode number 19 and in this video we're going to talk about course registration. The fall semester is about to begin and the registration is about to start as well. So in this video I'm going to tell you how to register for courses and also I'm going to give you some tips and tricks as well. My name is Janesh Modi and I make videos about life in Canada. I also have an Instagram account so you can definitely check that out. If you have a question you can either put it in the comments or you can DM me or text me on Instagram. I do often reply to people uh, who ask me questions as well and if you enjoy this video give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well it really help the channel grow you're watching talks with Janesh let's get started the first thing you want to do is open up your self service and click on student main menu and uh, this is what's going to open up then you want to click on registration which is right here uh, click on this and then this page is going to open up now you want to go to the fourth option that is add drop classes and click on that and uh, this is what's going to open up now you want to choose uh, the appropriate uh, term that you are registering your courses for so this is the fall semester you can click that and submit it and then you enter the course uh, CRNs in the empty fields uh, course CRNs just means the registration numbers course registration numbers if And then when you finish uh, entering all of the course uh, CRNs, then you can click on submit changes and this is going to submit all of your uh, courses that you want to register for. And once that is done, you're going to get this page to appear. That means these are the courses that you have registered for. Now, you may need to register for placement test before you can actually register for certain courses. For example, uh, the math course, I think before doing the calculus, you need to, re you need to give the math placement test. Uh, so that means uh, you will not be able to register for the math uh, 1000 the math calculus course without actually doing the MPT and then you also may need to register for the science 1807 and 1808 if you are registering for a lab science course this is just mainly for safety and you will automatically be registered for integrity 1000 this is the academic integrity course available uh, through your brightspace account more details on this can be found at this link and this is also going to be posted in the description below now waitlist for a course let's talk a little bit about that waitlist are created uh, for when the course is full if a course is reserved for a particular group of students then also the waitlist is uh, created now more information on waitlist and reserved courses can also be found in this link which is also in the description below course has an active waitlist then this is the type of message that you are going to see uh, until further action is required uh, you can register yourself on the waitlist so this is one option then you can click the action uh, drop down menu and you can actually tell the machine that you want to be waitlisted so this is how you do it and once that is done you can click on submit changes and uh, submit to be waitlisted now your place on the waitlisted is displayed right here so for example if you are the first person uh, that is going to be waitlisted then this is where uh, it's going to show you if there are 50 people before you then you're going to see there are 50 now making changes after you reg registered for a course uh, most changes can be made through your self-service account directly if you need to change a section of a course add the new section before you drop the old one uh, this also can be done by via your self-service changes in your registration could deregister you for other courses where core requisites exist for example you cannot uh, do a certain course before a certain course that's the pre but the co which needs to go side uh, hand in hand you need to do them together if you change one then you will automatically be deregistered for the other course so just make sure you're taking note of this point now if you want to change the section of a course uh, this is how you're going to do it you're going to enter the new CRN the new course registration number of uh, the section that you want to be in and then you're going to hit the submit changes button so once you do that uh, this page is going to open up it's going to look like this and what you want to do is now click on action and then the drop down menu is going to appear and then you want to uh, click delete old course old or delete old add new this once you do that then you click on submit changes then your previous section is going to be deleted and you're going to be put into this new section of yours
Now what's important to note here is if you have not met the prerequisites or co-requisites of the course then you will be automatically dropped from the course at a later point. Now this means that if you have uh, taken a course for example the calculus course and later on you found that you were not met or you're not eligible for the course then you will be uh, deregistered and you can no longer give the final exam or you can no longer get the credits for that course. So be really careful at that point. Uh, if you have requested a change using a course change form, you need to check your self-service regularly for an update on that, on what the current uh, situation is. And also remember, you are always responsible for your own registrations. Later on, if something happens, you cannot say anyone, no one's going to even listen uh, to you, uh, what happened to what was the history, no one's going to listen to that. At the end of the day, you are responsible for your own course registrations. The link here is also put in the description below. It's going to give you more information about dropping your course and its deadlines. More details about making registration changes can be found in this link, which which is also in the description uh, you can click that and find it now let's view your schedule let's talk a little bit about that to view your schedule you again need to go to student main menu and once you click that this is what is going to open up you click on registration now and you're going to see something like this now you want to click on class schedule once you click this you're going to see a very nice formatted uh, schedule but before that you actually need to also select the term the semester of the schedule you want to look for and now you see it's very well put out for you your entire course back in the day I used to actually manually write uh, this class routine I had in, in grade I think five six seven eight all my high school days as well I used to manually write it down but here you've actually been given uh, the entire schedule if you make a change it automatic, automatically gets updated so this is something really useful really helpful and what I've seen most students do is they put uh, this schedule as a wallpaper in their cell phone so when you're running to classes you can quickly open up your phone and see where your next class is uh, which building and which room number and from what time to what time so putting your wall putting your schedule in your wallpaper is something that has been proven to help students you can also view a more detailed version of your schedule and to do that all you need to do is uh, click on detail schedule once you click that you're going to see the entire details of who the professor is and who uh, what timing it is you also have the option to see the email of the professor when registering for a course it is recommended to double check uh, the campus because you don't want to register for a campus that you are not uh, in right to know about methods of payment you can see this link here it's also in the description you can click that and find out the different methods of payments available and if you have any more further questions about registration you can contact the registration helpline for st john's it is reghelp at muin.ca and this is the number and for grenfell campus it is info at grenfell.mun.ca all right that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did give it a huge thumbs up for more videos like this subscribe to the channel as well and if you have any questions you can always drop it in the comments text me on instagram anything that you feel is uh, comfortable for you is totally fine with me in the next episode we are going to talk about applying to graduate school that is for your master's degree so you can do it in any field uh, mechanical engineering civil engineering computer science biochemistry anything that you are interested in you can do your graduate school here you can complete the master's degree and in the next video i'm going to tell you more in details about it and presenting is going to be dr amanda bittner who is the member of the admissions committee here at man so stay tuned for that guys it's been fun you're awesome talk to you later